Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're uh, back at the shop today. Um, we're gonna do the lift kit today. So um, we're uh, just getting ready there. We brought the <clears throat> brought the van in and we're gonna uh, put it up on stands and start with the front, I guess. Um, so the plan uh, today is to get the um, the leaf springs in for the back and make some uh, two inch uh, blocks to go on them for a, a little bit more clearance. And uh, I got um, uh, these, uh, they're spacers basically for the coil springs. They're real cheap and I thought I'd give it a try before investing too much money in a, in a lift, you know, a lift kit, a, 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 a real suspension lift kit. I thought this is kind of the cheap way to go and to see if it's even worth it because anyways, uh, for when we get on those back roads anyway so um, um i guess the first thing we'll do here is throw a tape on here and see what height it's at um before we put the lift in that way we can kind of compare uh you know when we're all done and i want to see i'm going to put the front spacers in first because I don't want the van to be jacked in the back like some guys do with their pickup trucks there. That's not that's not what I want. I want, you know, kind of a level van, maybe a little bit higher for what it's loaded on the back, but nothing uh, crazy. But uh, uh, I got my helper with me again today. Uh, act, yeah, maybe you can throw a tape on that uh, on and see what, what we have for, for height. Back yeah, sure. Do the back. Let's see what we got. 2958. 29 and 5 eighths on the back. Okay, perfect. What do we got over here? 31. 31 in the front. So 29 5 eighths in the back, 31 in the front. And then we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's when it's when it's done. I don't know. It, they say a two and a half inch lift out of those blocks. I don't really believe it. I'm suspecting it'll be closer to one and a half because it doesn't seem to uh I don't know, just it doesn't make sense that you're going to get that much uh, lift out of a block that's an inch and a quarter. Um, I could be wrong. We'll find out. Uh, so we'll get it up on some stands and uh, we'll get started. We'll bring you back once we're set up. All right, so we need to undo that top ball joint, um, sway bar, and um, I don't know about the tie rod end or not, probably. And then we'll put a jack under that table there and then uh, lower or relieve the pressure on that spring, I guess. That's a monster spring in there. You wouldn't want that es escaping on you. Take your chompers right out. Okay, Let's see what we can do here. the uh, sway bar can't even see the ball joint nuts 
I'll have to do a bit of digging there. Buried in grease, I guess that's a good thing. All right, we're gonna get this ball joint bolted here. Not, I should say. So we're not gonna take this all the way out because it'll, uh, It'll slow that spring down from taking my eye out if it, uh, when it breaks free, you know. So we'll stick a jack under here and uh, see what happens. hammer there and we'll give her a good beating. I'll back you up a bit here so I don't take your eye out. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see there. You probably see better than I do anyways. Watch your ears, folks. I'm gonna give this a beating here. I figured that uh, this wasn't gonna be easy. I bet you this has never been out of here. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Other parts are falling off. She goes. Of course, it's gonna turn a little more. Keep going. Okay, let me give that a try. So I made that mistake. I've done that before. And if I should have taken the nut off. Make sure to take the nut right off before you hammer on it, guys, because now, of course, the whole ball joint's turned. Yeah, okay, jack it up. I think we're up all the way. One more. Okay. flying out of there. I'll take this thing.
this again. Okay, the spring is only just coming out now, so. shoes spring is out so there she is that has to go on there so let's see how that's gonna happen guessing that just goes like that. That's what gives us our lift so we'll clean that up and tie wrap that sucker on there and wrestle it back into that hole. All right we'll, we'll Get that prep and we'll bring you back. All right, we're gonna put some zip ties on here and help it hold into place while we wrestle this guy back in. Okay, now the fun begins. I guess I'll clean up that hole a bit. You don't want a dirty hole. And then uh, we'll get that spring in there. All right, so we're trying to get the spring back in its hole right there. So. but definitely needs to go down a lot more. Got it? Yeah. I think that, yeah, that'll stay there. Should be okay for a while. It should only take a minute here. Am I going to get it in the right place? Is he 
resting on my leg? Yep. <laughs> He's oh, got his chin resting. He's like... Motherfucker. <laughs> He's cuddling you there. Like you're on the couch. the thing up with the bar and then maybe you can slide the jack under that thing. batteries died just as I was putting that back in so you missed some of it but Let's see if we can get this finished off without getting a spring in the eye we're more or less where we need to be Just got to make sure that it's seating properly in its little in its little groove there. Everything seems to be good. That's it's like it's in its place up top there, more or less. So now we need to get this ball joint mated back up to this dirty hole. Now you got to get that ball joint bolt back in before shit explodes. Okay, so should be safe. We got a the nut is started on there, so there's no more chance of stuff flying at you. Just remember when you're breaking, when you're cracking the the ball joint. Not the nut, but separating it. Leave that nut threaded on there a bit so it doesn't, uh, it can't go anywhere. A lot safer, so. All right, so we got the ball joint nut back on. Springs in place. Just got the shock left. Hopefully it's long enough. I'm not sure if, uh, if you're, they said you didn't need to change the shock, but I am not 100% sure on that. I'll have to try it out and see. Otherwise, we'll order some new ones. These are pretty crusty, so. Okay, we'll keep going here. All right, so we're all back together here. Wasn't that, wasn't that bad, really. I mean, if I was on a hoist, it would make it uh, a whole lot easier. It's a little bit more, you know, back-breaking on the ground here, but spacers in there. And um, you can you can tell that it's you know uh, a little bit higher. We'll have to measure it once we're once we're done here. But so basically, you repeat performance on the other side, and uh, and we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, we'll get the other side done. All right, so we're we're about halfway through there, just taking a little break. It's pretty hard laying on your back there for an hour, you know. Okay, repeat performance on the left side now, driver's side. Same thing. We'll undo that bottom ball joint, 
um, sway bar and then start beating on it I guess get that thing out everything's pretty tight so it doesn't look like uh, needs anything but uh, what we're doing now other than front brakes uh, they're pretty uh, they're, they're they're due so so we'll do the same thing on this side as we did on the other side and then um, uh, probably throw some grease in it so. I guess I should show you guys that uh, Mr. Toby's here too he's giving us a hand right Mr. Toby you gonna give us a hand buddy <laughs> all right we got the front done you can uh, clearly see it's a lot higher that's for sure but the back was sagging a bit because the leaf springs were toast so if you remember before we had 29 and 5 8 in the back and 31 in the front that was the that's how much those springs were worn out which is why we're putting those guys in but uh but we only got we've gotten the, the front done so far and uh why don't you throw a tape on there and see what we got now Thirty-three. There we go. So we've we've gone up two inches. It said two and a half. I knew we weren't going to get two and a half. I thought there we'd get you know one and a half. We got we got two or just a hair under two inches. So definitely going to give us a bit of room for uh, just a little bit taller tire, just just to get that diff off the ground a bit. Okay, time to get the back done. We'll uh, we'll get all set up here and. Uh, get started all right now we're gonna get this back done here what I was wasn't sure about one is whether that shock is long enough uh, once we get a, a lift block in there but there's only one way to find out I guess I'm gonna crack that shock and lower it down and I wasn't sure about the brake line uh, you can't see it there uh, it's way back there maybe that helps that's that's the rubber line you see right there. Whether it's gonna be long enough to reach, but again, only one way to find out, so. Um, these bolts look like a bit of fun, but we got no choice. So that's what we gotta do. So yeah, you gotta crack those bolts, the two ends, obviously, and then, um, these guys here we got some new u-bolts to go in there a bit longer and I get a fab up some blocks to put in there I think we're gonna we're gonna go with two inch I think so that's where we're at I guess we'll start by undoing that shock bolt there see what kind of a nightmare that's gonna be it's coming we'll get her done all right get those that shock bolt undone there we'll have a look see if the shock will be long enough uh, you can go ahead and lower this jack and pull it out of there if you want there uh... the jack stand in Safety's, safety's no accident, guys. Let's see if we can crack this. Could you grab that bigger wrench, the uh, 15 sixteenths? Double up here. Shocks are too short. Definitely need longer. 
longer shocks. All right, so we attempted to get the back done, but apparently we need some new bolts for the leaf springs. They're, uh, they're so seized in there, they're gonna have to be cut. So we didn't wanna do that and leave the van here all week. We've got a busy week here at the shop, so looks like uh, this is gonna be uh, continued next weekend. So, but definitely lots more ground clearance on it. Sorry we couldn't complete this this weekend, but uh, it'll get done. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to give us a like and uh, subscribe.